Hi there, it's Bob from Greybeard Models and welcome to my channel again. Um, and it's been a really good uh, start to the year. Um, over the Christmas and New Year period I've acquired a few more new subscribers and uh, you are very welcome, all of you, uh, and obviously my old subscribers. Um, it's a great little community, I hope you enjoy what you find and uh, you know whether you're a creator, whether you're just scanning through YouTube and dropping in on odd videos or whether or not you know you just want to hook up to the channel and see what we're doing here at Greybeard Models you're all very very welcome. Um, New Year for me and Christmas is a very busy time. Um, over the Christmas period I've got two grandchildren who have birthdays which is great um, and uh, if you're interested I've got five kids and I've got about 13 grandchildren about I have um, so the, you know it's always a busy period Christmas and New Year but it's it's great fun anyway uh, what well, we're not here really to talk about that we're here to talk about progress on the channel uh, and over the new year we we haven't really done a lot obviously very very busy with family and that but they've all gone back to school and all that sort of thing and gone back to work so they're all out of my hair and uh, I can get on with some more work um, over the, the new year Christmas period we did do a few little bits and pieces so what I've done is um, I've got some pictures here and, and, I'll, and bits of video and stuff and I'll put those together and you can have a look and see how we've got on but mainly been working on the truck so uh, Let's get over to the bench and we'll have a look. So I wanted to have a look at um, the next step here, which is, you know, step 17, which is about putting the, the radiator and the front grille together. And they specify part number G12 being the radiator and then the, you've got your photo etch there for the actual grill itself but this this goes together really well this whole overall plan goes together really well um, but there is an <laughs> there is a thing it might trip you up and I thought I'd better highlight it so this is G12 so bear that in mind let me just move that out of the way that isn't G12 this sprue here is sprue CA and as you can see you've got the radiator grill there quite interesting you know you've got the steering wheel and you know your, your dashboard whatever but that's CA 12 on this sprue this is sprue G and that's G12. The thing I find curious is they've actually numbered them the same, so there's not even a, a difference in the number, but it's just the sprue. Now, I've had a look at both of them before I've taken them off, and to all intents and purposes, they're exactly the same. And, and if you think about it, it just follows the logic, because if, if they're going to make the tooling, um, and you've sat and CAD drawn all of this, you're not going to start all over again you're just going to repeat that and just put that CAD information into that sprue and that CAD information the same CAD information in that sprue but just turn it it's a different design sprue my question is why why would you have two two noses um, it, it all I can think of is that Given the information that I've got with the various parts and all the rest of it, it looks like they must be planning another version of either this truck or, or whatever, I don't know. There's the, the mud flaps. There's mud flaps over there. Let me just move that over a bit more. So that's mud flaps over there. They're the side, um, sides of the hood. They're the sides of the hood. This sprue has got the parts for the ambulance. They're the rear steps and they're the, the mud guard hold brackets that hold the front of of the wing which we just we've just looked at and, and 
you know, we make the modifications to it. Um, but yeah, it just seems weird. Seems weird. Um, all of this seems to have all the detail for inside the cab. This doesn't. But they've stuck another grill there. And they've stuck these parts there. Why is that? Why have they got two sprues? But I'd be curious to know. Um, but yeah. <laughs> anyway. That's the part we need to go for. Not this one. Don't do this one. Smack wrist. Right. Onwards and upwards. So I just wanted to show you how I deal with putting the grills in. Because obviously there is a there is a contour there um, and I just thought I'd just show you quickly um, what I do um, obviously you take the nubs off take the nubs off the brass parts I use I use this uh, flat sanding stick um, I know some people will use a file all that sort of thing but I use this this sanding stick oh pick it in the shot uh, reason being, it's, it's reasonably flat and uh, a bit beaten up, um, but it ends up that it's cleaning the nub, but it's also sort of dressing the edge um, of the etch as well. And given that we want to put some super glue pretty much along along that edge, it won't hurt to give it a little bit of a, a clean up anyway. Um, so one of the other things is just where these corners are I just ease those corners round a bit um, just just to make sure that it will fit neatly into the space and the same with this corner just just ease it round all right so let's get rid of this cutting mat or the cutting board and what I use I've got a piece of this foam this is I think it's one of the Sort of, sort of NATO style sleep mats that you can you can buy. Um, I had this when I first started hiking, but it's a really nice piece of foam. I've got it's, I'm using it all over the place. It's, it's getting chopped up and used as a foam suppressor for, for all sorts of things. But uh, so what I'll do is I'll get get hold of this uh, this blade. This is this is a a, bla a, a handle exacto, I think. Um, so what I want you to do is just just take the part and then you know obviously it needs when you look at it it needs a, a contour that way so just making sure you've got it in the right direction put put that down on there and then just apply a little bit of pressure um, I'm not going to bother annealing it I mean you could anneal it but I think it just makes it too soft for this particular situation but just give it a roll like that with the with the handle and you'll end up with a, a slight contour on there but it's just enough to uh, to fit in with the the curve on the on the nose here and then just test fit it obviously you know like everything else test fit test fit test fit um, looking at it it might just need a little bit of a dressing on on that corner there um, I mean it's going to go quite nicely um, and once that's in in place and I'm quite happy with that um, what I'll do is I'll cut out the other part of the grill which is which is there and I'll plop that in place before I stick anything stick anything down uh, and then we'll have everything. So once I've done that, I'll come back to you. So we've uh, got the the main engine together for the truck, and as you can see, we've done some some bits of painting on it and uh, got that all up to sort of where it should be. Like that got the fan belt and and all that sort of stuff, and got the carburetor sorted out with the air filter all of that so we've got some basic colors on there um, got, a, got a fair bit of weathering to do on that and there's a couple of other parts the distributor cap and um, I think it's a fuel filter um, 
got to get those together. So th that's all. That's all sort of done. So we've got a, a good bit of progress on that, um, which we didn't have before. Um, and let me just grab some other bits. So we've got uh, a few water water tins or water cans. I'll try and get this in focus. Let's see if I can get this to zoom in. So we got the the water cans or things whatever they, whatever they were called um got those all painted i've got a whole whole stack of them here i won't get them all out but we've got a whole stack all painted given a basic white coat um obviously we're going to do an element of weathering on it not a great deal and then there's some decals to put on and uh, and then clear them and then give them a matte coat and that sort of thing um so got those done Oh, stop shaking. That's good, isn't it? As soon as I start the camera shaking, um, and my hands. So I've got a whole load of uh, German jerry cans uh, painted up. They've, they've been given a, a red primer coat, and uh, and then they're given uh, a sort of a, a a desert sort of colour. Uh, is it the Dunkel Graub? I don't know how you pronounce that exactly, but um, it's a sort of German sort of yellow. But I've, I've put a very light coat on there, so you've still got an element of the sort of red oxide underneath. So they're, they're done. Um, and I've got um, a few of the oil drums uh, done. And as you can see, um, we've got bits of, uh, bits of sort of rust coming through and stuff like that. So we've got, got a fair bit of wear and tear on some of these, which, which is quite good. I'm quite pleased with the way some of them have come out, um, and these will go into these will go into the truck bed, I think, as a, a load. As you can see, there's, they've take, taken quite a bit of a hammering, which which is quite good. Um, there's more weathering to do, some more grease, oil stains, and that sort of thing, um, but they'll come out. They'll come out all right once they're all all done, and uh, got the chassis painted. That's been done in, in a light stone colour over black. So I did it I, I did it with a give it a blast of a grey primer first of all, then went over it with um, elements of black all over to sort of make some areas darker than others to give that sort of um, you know sort of different I didn't want a flat tone and then I've gone over it with um, with the Vallejo colour the, the light stone um, which is a, a BS colour that the British used. So that, that's been done as well. And uh, we've got the wheels done. Um, they've got a, um, a tyre black, well I did a black primer um, and then a tyre black over the over the tyres and the hubs have been done with the, uh, the light sand colour. Can't remember what. <laughs> Well, it was I just had it. I just had it actually. Uh, light stone, isn't it? UK light stone. I just said it. Dumb clutch. Anyway, yeah, it's um the model air seven one one four three UK light stone. Um, I've given the hubs uh, a, a quick blast of that, and uh, the next stage will be to. Go over the tyres again with uh, with a, some highlighting and stuff and weathering and the same with the hubs. Bit of a bit of a, a coat of I'll give them a uh, you know a wash or something like that just to make them a little bit more grubby. And then the other thing that I add um, is this uh, Vallejo pigment, which is desert dust. Um, obviously, this vehicle is going to be set in the desert, so it's going to have a bit of that as well. And everything will get sealed and put together but um that's where we are at the moment with the truck um there's some other bits and pieces that i'm actually mentioned let me just uh, actually what we'll do is i'll just zoom back out and uh, we'll, we'll have another look this is the part of the build where where i tend to have lots of little things going on in the background and not actually getting anywhere <laughs> sort of thing so there's the the front of the the cab wall um with the the pedals and, and whatnot there 
and uh, as you can see it's been glazed and then the front of the engine compartment and the firewall uh, we've got the various electronics doodads there um, the back of the cab is there floor of the cab is there and the ceiling of the cab is sort of there and then we've done there's an interesting construction that, that, that they've chosen for the cab so the cab walls the side walls where the doors go they come at, come like this which is an interesting way of doing it it's, it's done with two parts it's this L shaped part this L shaped part and then this, this sort of hoop of uh, door frame that goes like that so that's where we are like I say there's, there's bits and pieces going on all, all around at the moment and they'll all come together um, into one sort of final build um, obviously the cab will be be given a, a coat of paint and, and then brought together and then weathered and whatnot and then that will be done um, but yeah this, this is quite quite a bit of progress but it doesn't seem like progress if you get what I mean anyway that's where we are at the moment and if you've got this far through the video and you're still watching thanks for sticking with it um, it's a bit of a mishmash I know but hey ho the next one will probably be getting a lot of these things together so thanks for watching really do appreciate it um, if you've got any comments to make just you know put a put a comment down below and uh, I'll see you on the next one take it easy out there